Hey guys, it's Julie and it is a rainy day. So that means it's a good day to take our dogs to either Lowe's or Home Depot, somewhere inside. I've got Mr. Bucci in the back of my car, right there. You can't see him because he's in a downstay. That is very important. It's a requirement for all of our dogs. When we travel with them, they have to be calm and they have to be laying down. I don't want them climbing all over the car. I don't want them barking or scratching out my windows. Um, it's all comprehensive into how I want them to act all around in all aspects of life. So every dog downstay in the back of the car and that's how you should be traveling with your dog too. So they're not going nuts all over the place. Okay, I'll see you guys when we get to Home Petco Depot. in Hagerstown. Bushy's doing a great job back there. He's in a downstay. Um, parking the car, stopping at red lights, stopping at stop signs, turning the car off. Those are all huge triggers for our dogs to pop up and look out the windows and say, hey, where are we? What's going on out there? And it's a really good opportunity for us to pattern in no, down. I don't want you worrying about anything going on out there. Um, and I don't want you getting up out of your downstay until I come release you. Um, we've got people walking around. There's somebody that just got in their car over there. Car doors were opening and closing. And a couple times I had to say no. I clicked the remote down. So that just lets him know, hey, I don't want you worrying about anything going on. Let me worry about it all. You just relax. All right. And so that sets me up for success going into the store because he's not overly amped up or aroused. So um, just a little tip there for you, okay? Downstay inside the car. Again, this is not only for his mindset, but also for safety. I don't want him rushing out of the car while I'm in a busy parking lot, okay? I'm gonna detach my leash from the safety here, and then only when I release him will he jump out of the car. Good boy, bud. One more tip for you guys. Before you guys actually head out into the store or whatever uh, field trip you're taking your dog on, do some basic engagement exercises in the parking lot. That way when you actually get in the store, you've got your dog focused on you and in tune with you. Good boy. Heel. Heel. down. Good boy. Good boy. Come. Good. Heel. Sit. Down. Good boy. Down. Good. Hey guys, Julie here. I'm coming at you from Hagerstown Pet Co. Love taking our dogs here. There's so many distractions, um, lots of good smells, lots of good stuff to stop and sniff and mark on. Got lots of dogs do that when they're taken inside stores. And it's just a really good place to practice obedience in a brand new environment. It's exciting um, and it lets us 
help our dogs generalize these commands saying, you know what, they don't just apply in the uh, training room. You actually have to do them in a public place, on a hard floor that you might not be used to, um, in a checkout line of a busy store. Um, and so it, it really, really, really helps our dogs. These field trips are musts. Um, once, maybe twice, sometimes even three times for some of these dogs. Um, so Bucci's doing a great job. Um, just the fact that I'm able to heal a dog while filming in a public place with lots of stuff going on is a testament to how well he's doing. Oh, he's four. Yeah. So we take dogs for two weeks. I know you. I have your card. Oh, really? Yes. That's awesome. Who gave me your card? My vet. <laughs> I have a mini golden doodle. He's crazy. He's crazy. They all are. They all come in crazy. He's very. Crazy. Yeah. Right. Cody's just out there. Yeah, so we basically take the dogs for two weeks. He's here for three because he actually sent someone to a hospital biting them. Mm -hmm. You don't think these Muppets can bite? They can. It depends on, um, you know, the dog's issues, but we take them in for anywhere from two to three weeks, train them up completely on all commands, take them on field trips like this. Obviously, what we do with the dogs is way stricter than yeah, the owners, right, right. but we always send them home at that extremely high standard. They are capable of doing this, and he can do this anywhere. He can She's do it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I watched all your videos. Yeah. I have your card on my bar. I'm like, well, you like, buy me back. I'm like, that cannot be. That's a mini? Yeah. That's Cody's mini. He just turned a year. Oh. He's, um, he's, he's real. So good. He's very being very good. Oh, yeah. And trust me, if I Hi. released him. What's his name? Bucci. Would he go crazy? He would go crazy. But we, we teach them the difference between work and play yeah, so but he's not that big yeah they're, he's they're, a mini they're all different we've trained another mini that was probably only i don't know 20 pounds he's 26 so we teach them hey when you're working which is right now right, right. that's not the time to go up to a person and jump yeah that's exactly. not the time to go up to a person and go crazy when i release you you can do that right if the right. person wants to be jumped yeah. on which they usually yeah. don't um in the play yard, you can go crazy. But when I take you out into these stores and I'm having you out with me walking down stay while I shop, I don't want you constantly no, being at the end of the leash. That's crazy. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, these, a lot of people leave super happy with these dogs. And plus, he'll have an off leash too. You do off leash. Oh, yeah. Yes, all of the them. Video. I was watching yeah. the video. Yeah. yeah. It's great. I'm yeah. glad you liked us on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I did. My vet gave me the card. So on the, well, they hopefully watch the videos of their dog. Then halfway through, we have this big packet of information right. yeah. that they read. Right. Then on the final day, we have a two-hour session uh -huh. transferring all of the training from them, from us to them. To the owners. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, and then we have monthly pack walks, which I'm sure you've seen the videos yes. on mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then they have a session to use after the training if they want. Mm -hmm. Hardly anyone uses it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's there. So you, Cody would do that. Oh yeah. We, ha we see the most craziest dogs come oh, in. He's crazy. You see the drop-off videos, right? Yeah, I do. So then, you know, he was the same way. My husband's going to say, yeah, right. But he's just, he jumps. I've had him here for training. Oh, no. I don't really need that. No. It's totally useless. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I am a boy. But I, let's see. That is that heavy right there. It's heavy. He's red. We get so many doodles. You have, I mean, people get them because they're adorable. They look like little fuzzy Muppets. Yeah, they, they and then, totally and then they jump, they don't listen, they chew things up, they run the other way when called. And so, training. We've trained three from the same family. <laughs> so like we take videos and show, and show people and it, it's, it's good. Good boy, Booch. <laughs> no, Cody would be right there. Yeah, right everyone, all the dogs would, you know. No, it doesn't work. Mm -mm. Oh, it just doesn't work. Yeah. She gave me a prescription of being crazy, and I said, hey, look at this one. And then on now Friday, I'm going to take him every four weeks. Take him every four weeks.
Well, Cody's going to have to have some training, but he's a lot smaller. So. Yeah, we've, you know, I found that they come in lots of different Hi. sizes. I don't want to pet you, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs>